it's time to dial in the brine. Welcome to Brickle Pickle, where we go behind the scenes into this crazy business. My name is James, and I'm going to give you an inside look at what makes us tick. The goal is to show you ground zero into a successful, thriving business, or at least that's the hope. So don't forget to subscribe so you can follow us on our journey. Let's do it. We need to see how our brine turned out. But before we get into that, I want to go over some things with you. We've been spending a lot of time learning how to make pickles. If you remember, I glossed over this whole refrigerator pickle versus processed pickle or canned pickle. You may also be wondering when I'm actually going to start growing stuff. I mean, that seems like a logical place to start. After all, it would take the longest, right? So let me explain what's going on. Refrigerator pickles versus canned pickles or processed pickles. You've seen me make refrigerator pickles. Well, for processed pickles or canned pickles, see, processing simply is, is the canning method or the term for canning, right? Well, that means there's one extra step after you complete the refrigerator pickles. Essentially, after you put the hot brine into the, the, the jars, then you need to boil the jars for around 10 minutes. You know, this will make sure that there's uh, all the bacteria has been killed off. Essentially, this is what makes the product safe to eat for a long period of time. Uh, once, once the jar will cool off, then it'll create a vacuum seal, and then it'll have a shelf life of up to a year or so, and it no longer needs to be refrigerated. So refrigerated pickles, you can make them, but typically you have to eat them within a couple of weeks. If you process the pickles or can the pickles, then they have a shelf life and they're good for about a year, so it's safe for people to eat. But to do the processing, well, you need to have some equipment like the canning pot, um, some canning tongs, and so forth. Apparently, I'm not the only one doing this. Everything's on back order. The canning pot, the canning jars, even the cucumber seeds are on back order. So we've got to wait for things to arrive. That's why we've been focusing so much on the refrigerator pickles. But good news, things are starting to arrive. It's feeling like Christmas around here at Brickle Pickle. It's getting exciting. Anyway, now that you're all caught up, let's get back to why you're really here. You want to see me drink pickle juice, don't you? So we left the brine in the fridge for a few days to let, let it develop the flavor. Uh, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but you can see the different tone and different color in, in the brine uh, from the spices. So that, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that on camera. But the truth is, I'm not really looking forward to, to tasting this. Um, last week when, when I drank that vinegar, that was probably the, the worst thing I've ever tasted. And I'm sweating right now just thinking about it. I'm really sweating. Yeah, I, I guess here it goes. Time for a taste test, bottoms up. Mmm. Ooh, I'm really sweating. Wow, you could definitely smell all the different spices. Try to keep you guys informed which one's which. So it looks like we're gonna start from this side. This is dill mustard, clove, and pepper. Yeah, dill mustard, clove, and peppercorn. Dill mustard, clove, and peppercorn. Mmm. Smells a little, smells a little tough, but you can smell the clove really come through. Uh, no, I don't like this at all. Alright guys, I'm going to 
try to take some notes. It's a little strong though. This one's not bad at all. This is, I feel like this one's much better than the first one. But yeah, oh, I'm sweating. This one, I would say that, that's, a, that's a winner right now. I like that one. So that was dill, allspice, and pepper. That was, that was a good one. All right, this was one of everything, which is dill, clove, pepper, allspice, and mustard seed. Ooh, this one, man, I don't know if I like this. It's very aromatic, but. Oh, it's very good though. Again, I'm sweating like crazy. You know, these, wow, these two are really good. I'm moving those up. I won't have to do those again. Oh, God. I don't know if you guys want to do this at home, but man, this is crazy. All right, so this was just double the dill. And you see, this this is more green than everything else. It's darker. It smells a lot milder, too. This tastes exactly, this tastes like, like, like pickle juice, for real. <sighs> Sweating. That tastes just like pickle. Hold on, let me see if I got it. <laughs> All right, so I actually have some brand new freshly. So I wanna see how ours stacks up against the store-bought pickle. See how this goes. All right, ours smells a little more pungent, a little more vinegary, whereas this one smells a little bit softer and a little bit sweeter. sugar in here but wow that, that's really good for us that's really good for us so I know we have a couple here that were also very good and I'll have to I'll have to try to you know come up with with the best solution and that, that's gonna take some trial and error but it seems like a good idea for us to concentrate on the dill for now because I feel like right now at least the brine we can stack up against this product and they sell millions of this so if I can compete let's start off with something something simple we'll call this I don't know brickle, brickle pickle simple dill and then this can be our, our our hallmark our signature we'll get started with this we can start canning we can go through the whole process and as we're doing that as we're creating these pickles we can also work on our I don't know we'll call this our, our funky bold flavor or something like that but in the meantime uh, this is exciting. We're going to concentrate on on the dill, and I, I think we've got we've got a roadmap. We've got a path forward. So 
So this is what we're gonna do. So that's pretty exciting. It looks like we are on our path forward. It doesn't get any more authentic than that. This is Brickle Pickle behind the scenes. And if you paid attention closely, you may have even heard the family in the background. That's how it is a day in the life here at Brickle Pickle. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned and click the bell so you can be notified whenever we drop a new show. Stay tuned for next week when we start showing you the goodies that showed up.